Today we will show you how to install a filament sensor to your KP3S. It's quite easy and no firmware is required. Alright, let's get started. First, things you need to prepare. A generic filament sensor. Some zips. A PTFE tube. A maintenance pillar. An M3 by 16 screw. A 2.0 mm screwdriver. A slotted screwdriver. That's all you need. First, turn the printer over. Use the pillar to hold the gantry. Adjust its position, make sure everything is stable. Then loose the bottom screws. Disconnect the bottom fan and remove the bottom cover. Release the filament sensor cable. It should be long enough for most of our models. Use the slotted screwdriver to release the cable wrapper. Then put the filament sensor cable into the box through the hole. It is the side with a port. Connect it to the DT1 port. Make sure it connects tightly. That's it, you can also check the following picture. After that, arrange the cable and put the wrapper back. Then you are all set. That's all you need to do, easy peasy. Connect the bottom fan and put the cover back. Then tighten the screws to fix it. Install the filament sensor with the M3 by 16 screw. Tighten the screw to fix it. Use the zip to arrange the cables. Connect the printer to the power supply and turn it on. Load the filament. Preheat the printer. Use the PTFE tube to guide the filament. Then load it into the extruder. Take the extruded filament away. Put the PTFE tube into the extruder. Choose a file to print. The printing starts as normal. So let's test it out. Let's try to unplug the cable. Alright, nothing. So we reconnect it and try cut the filament. Okay, it has been triggered, you can hear the beeping sound. After a while, the printing stops. Alright, let's reload the filament and see if we can resume the printing. Click resume. So it works perfectly, the printing is resumed successfully. You are all set.
If you have any questions please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. So that you will be notified once we update it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.